Hi Virgo, this is Tara Queen. Welcome to your July 2017 lover's reading. Uh, this is actually going to be an empathic reading um, for the month of July for the lovers, for the people that are in relationships, and this will go over how your lover feels about you. Okay, so welcome to the channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Now, obviously, this is a general reading just for all Virgos, so it may or may not, or some or all, or parts of it may not resonate for you. <clears throat> go, go ahead, go ahead, baby. Um, you can go and look at your rising sign, um, or you can come and get a private reading. Uh, the link to my website is below, and I am offering a special. Everything on the website is on sale, okay? So I am just going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Virgos for the month of July 2017 for their love and romantic relationship. Show me how, uh, what is Virgo's partner telling the Virgo about how they feel about them? So that is what we're going to do current, kind of like a... I don't want to say significator, but it just kind of tells you where you're at as far as, you know, maybe what they might be telling you. Uh, Spirit, show me what are they thinking? How are they feeling about Virgo deep down? How are they showing it? What outside influences are affecting Virgo partner? And uh, what can Virgo expect within the next six to eight weeks? So again, it's a love reading. It, uh, I, you know, you want to get. I do offer video readings also, um, and predictions. So you can contact me about that. The video readings are not on sale, <clears throat> but my live readings are actually on sale. Okay. All right. comes up is what they are telling you is the sun card. I feel like in general for Virgos, whoever it is that you're romantically involved with, they feel a lot of passion, a lot of joy. They're just really happy in general. Um, and I feel like what they've told you for now is you don't necessarily have to define what you're doing just you know just let's enjoy the relationship i enjoy what we have wherever we're going let's just kind of you know um do whatever you know just enjoy each other now what they are thinking is the king of cups so they're wondering about how you feel about them so uh i feel like the king of cups could represent your partner or significant other especially if they are a water sign they possibly do have a really high emotional need, Virgo, okay? Let me just let me just tell you, it's the only core card that shows up in your reading. Your partner could be a fire sign also, as indicated by the sun card. So I feel like whoever this is for your partner is possible um, fire or water. All right, I'm going to ask Spirit uh, to give me some clarity on this King of Cups as far as what your partner is thinking about you. Oh, goodness. They are kind of smushing together a little bit. Okay. The Ace of Wands comes up, so I feel like this is representing um, some kind of ener energetic flow, kundalini flow. Um, I feel like whoever it is, I feel like they feel like the relationship with you, they feel as though it invigorates them. You know, they're sort of feeling <clears throat> they're sort of feeling uh, different. I feel like the Ace of Wands represents change. It does represent power. Um, I am going to throw one more card because I feel as though 
there's something else spirits what other messages do you want or advice do you want to give to the Virgo oh goodness uh, the tower card so I feel like it represents fate or destiny okay the Emperor I feel like your partner is thinking about marrying you uh, Virgo how they feel about you deep down is the world card. So they feel very complete with you. They feel um, at balance. They feel in tune, okay? Now, the world card could represent um, maybe something needing to be closed. Maybe something needs closure, uh, as indicated by some of these cards. So I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarification for the world card. Um, yeah, the Justice card. I feel like, uh, Virgo, you possibly could be dealing with I feel like your significant other could be dealing with some karma, maybe legal karma, possibly. Yeah, the Hermit. The Hermit can represent um, just to be honest, the justice next to the hermit card could represent incarceration in some cases, but th we're looking at feelings, just looking at the card combination, but, um, or either maybe possible, um, avoidance of that on some level. So they may feel as though with the hermit, they may be looking at your energy because the Hermit does represent the Virgo. I feel like they sort of feel that you are a little too isolated. They feel like you're not open enough. They wish that you would open up is what they're wanting okay that's what i'm feeling empathically from these three cards let me ask spirits uh throw me a clarifier and just kind of advice on that hermit i feel like they feel lonely in the relationship they wish that you you know maybe were more open it could be a possibility yeah the moon card feel like the moon card is representing um, does definitely represent synchronicity and just feeling really emotional you know about or just feeling maybe fear when you're not there possibly okay so um also, it does represent some kind of negative influence over the relationship. And you can see with the hermit and justice that <laughs> I feel like, yeah, with that, with the hermit and the justice card, they are feeling really isolated from you. Okay. So some kind of loneliness, okay? It could be cyclic also. Maybe you could be going through it together. Uh, how they are showing it is the Nine of Wands. So I do feel as though they are being extra careful, you know, kind of making sure that they uh, define things, making sure that they do things the right way. Spirit, give me some clarity on the Nine of Wands. They might be a little defensive, you know about the people they may want so just like for example they may not want to be around your friends Virgo they might just want to be alone with you so I feel like they are uh, defending themselves or on some level feeling like they have to protect themselves Virgo so I'm going to ask spirit to what advice or give me some clarity for the nine of wands yeah, the judgment card, they're fearing judgment possibly from people around you or maybe even you, Spirit. Give me some um, 
clarification for judgment for the Virgos in the past. And oh goodness, messy, messy. We are not going to read all of those cards. All right, past and future advice on the judgment card. <clears throat> yeah, you need to pay attention to possibly what I uh, feel like this Queen of Wands is representing a fire sign individual. Um, Seven of Cups is representing, you know, uh, Virgo needing to use better judgment as far as uh, with, I would say, emotional blockages where, you know, a person is confusing you. They're like, wait a minute, this person did that, but then they do, they're doing that. So that does represent confusion. Now, outside influences, Virgo, is the Three of Swords. So you're definitely dealing with some kind of love triangle. The um, Queen of Wands was the other card that showed up in the reading. So I feel like it does involve a water sign and a fire sign. Let me ask Spirit to give me some clarity on Three of Swords. Let me kind of pick these cards up a little bit. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Okay. Spirits, I'm still not seeing it clearly with the Nine of Cups. Give me some more clarity on Three of Swords. King of Wands. So King of Wands could be a possible ex-partner. This King and this Queen of Wands could be an ex. Could be somebody that is competing in the relationship. Virgo, it could be somebody that's either after you or your significant other. So I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some advice on those cards. Strength is the outcome card, so I feel like it does represent your uh, partner's love for you uh, but I'm going to do some clarifiers on the strength card because I feel like there's some advice with that also Virgo uh, spirits give me some advice on king of wands and this three of swords and all of that so nine of cups is representing other lovers I feel like this is other lovers also is what I was going to say I wasn't really and I feel like uh, Virgo your partner is not happy they're sort of sad about possibly having to share you yeah the six of swords so I feel like maybe it's in the past possibly if it's something in the past then you just need to get past it six of swords also does represent somebody moving could be physical or metaphorical uh, so the outside influences, Six of Swords, sensing some bad energy around this King of Wands and the Nine of Cups just kind of shows maybe extra lovers, okay? Um, Spirit, give me some clarity on Strength card as an outcome for the Virgos. Okay, the Four of Wands. So, I do feel like for a majority of you Virgos, there's going to <clears throat> feel like your uh, significant other is probably going to be wanting marriage. Uh, not wanting it, but possibly considering it. <clears throat> so, let me ask Spirit uh, for the Virgo partner, what advice do you offer for Virgo partners? Okay, the Three of Pentacles. So, Three of Pentacles is representing work or a job. Okay, it's also representing financial blessings. So, I feel like there is possible uh, money manifestation, very good energies coming in through the, th through the Three of Pentacles. Um, and then Four of Wands is representing home, family, success, so these are some really good outcome cards. Um, 
I feel like the Three of Pentacles is representing, I feel like it's a pretty good relationship, evidently, that you're with, it, you know, with your Virgo and with your Virgo as an outcome. All of these are coming up, but you can come in, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you can call me and get a private reading if you want uh, personal, uh, more accurate guidance on that. But I feel like Three of Pentacles is a good sign. But it does suggest having to work together in some kind of, I don't want to say group setting, but, uh, you know, it does indicate some kind of triangle, but I feel like these are all positive cards, okay, all of them. And I feel like the strength card is overcoming, uh, if you do have a fire sign partner, Virgo, I feel like they're dealing with jealousy, extreme jealousy. Uh, water sign also jealousy and fear I feel like if, you, if you're dealing with a water sign they're more so having fears of you leaving not necessarily fears of abandonment <clears throat> but they're picking up on some kind of psychic energy so uh, from the moon card so some of you Virgos might have somebody that could be tapping in <laughs> you know, a little bit. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching Virgos. Again, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, thumbs this video up. You had a beautiful outcome here. Um, again, the link to my website is in the video description box. Uh, my 30 minute and one hour readings. And I also do have two hour and different reading choices and other stuff available on the website. Uh, everything's on sale uh, for the summer. So Go and check that out. I can also be reached 770-686-7461 if you have any questions. All right. See you guys later. Namaste.